All right, hi everyone. Um, today I am going to show you how I am going to clean this image up from start to finish. So this is going to be a really, really long edit. I'm not sure if I'm going to break this up and put it into different chunks or give it to you in one big, long, almost hour long take. So you're not going to hear me talking about a lot during this um, edit, mostly when I'm shifting between different tools and thinking about what, how I'm going to work on it. So let's get started. Um, to start, this image is really dark and I need to light it up to kind of pull in a little more detail and focus to the foreground here. So I'm going to start doing that by going over to Adjustments and then Shadows and Highlights down here. Now that I have shadows and highlights open, I'm going to be shifting mostly my shadows bars. So the first thing I'm going to do is shift this one all the way over here, because that tends to be a bar that I like to have on this end. Next, I'm going to highlight these ones up quite a bit. I know it looks super bright, but I really want to bring in some light to the foreground here that I can work with later. And down here at spar, pull a little bit of that out and bump in the color just a little bit. And then I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go back up to Image, Adjustments, and Shadow Highlights again. Mostly because I like the effect I was getting, but I wanted to kind of overdose it a little bit. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll t do the effects I want from um, a tool and then I'll go back in and I'll redo it again to pull in the effect even more. So now that I can play with tonal width a little more in my shadows, I am pulling down one end. And now I'm going to pull in my contrast a little bit. Still like what's going on with the hair back there with the extra color correction or really saturation. Alright, I think I am good there, so I'm going to click OK again. And now I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. And with this, I'm going to kind of drive home a little bit of contrast here. Maybe shift down the brightness just a tad while I'm doing that. Not too much though, I don't want to get it too overly highlighted. Alright. So. I'm liking what I have here. Head over to part 2 of this tutorial where we will cover retouch for this image. Thank you for watching!